Here's a look at the category screens in Music One version 7. Click the Tracks button. The list of category names is down the left side. Music categories are in dark font, and non-music categories like jingles, liners, promos, voice tracks, those things are in lighter color. And if you're using Trafecta, our traffic and billing module, then the categories for commercials have their own font color, and they're at the bottom of the stack. I usually move the music categories up to the top and the non-music categories down lower because when Music One schedules, it does it in category rank order. In this example, the image category is in rank order position number one. For each new log, Music One will schedule that one fully from midnight through 11 p.m., and then it'll make another pass through the day, scheduling the stash category, and then a pass scheduling light, and then power gold, and so on. It will only schedule those categories that are in your active format clocks, so you can have hold and resting categories if you want. Those will not be scheduled. And your holiday songs won't be scheduled until you put the holiday clocks into play. You can change the scheduling order with the little blue arrows up here at the top. You can move a category quickly by clicking on the name of the category and then holding down the control key on the keyboard and using the up and down arrows on your computer keyboard. When you click on any category, the list of songs or tracks in that category appears in the right panel. The little plus button here means that this category has a packet in it. A packet is a category that you've added into another category. The image category here has a packet named Power Pack. And when I click on the Power Pack category name, I see that it contains two songs by Sarah McLachlan. The Power Pack will be scheduled as if it were a single song within this category. But each time it gets scheduled, Music One will then select one of the two songs within the Power Pack. Those two will rotate, and they will then get half the number of spins individually as the other songs in the category. You can set up different views in your categories each view showing different data columns. This view shows me how many times the songs have been scheduled since I added them to the library, and the number of times each has been scheduled after being moved into this particular category. Here's one that shows timing, intro, length, and ending. And this one shows the automation cart number. And notice that the fonts are larger in this view than in the others. You can change the font size and select the fonts that you want for your views. You can give each view its own name. I like to name them in the order of preference, my own personal preference, one, two, three, and four. And you can decide what you want to see in each view. Remove columns, add columns, move the data columns left and right. Most of that you do with a right click in the column heading. To add a new column, right click on one of the headings and select New Field, and then select the field name that you want. Some fields can be color coded, and some fields, like Tempo, can be displayed with an abbreviated name or with the full name. You can change any data field by doing a right click on the field name that you want to change and then making a selection in field name. When you click on a column heading, the list is then sorted in ascending or alphabetical order, and when you click on it again, it's sorted in reverse order.